If I could trace my fascination with tiny plants back to a single moment, it would be my first in-person encounter with a Lilliputian orchid blooming in its native habitat. After college graduation, I headed for an internship in Puerto Rico with the Luquillo Long-Term Ecological Research Program. Embedded in the El Yonque National Rainforest, I assisted with research on the effects of Hurricane Hugo, which defoliated the entire rainforest in 1989. One day, while collecting data in a plot that included some large boulders, my eye caught the tiniest speck of pinkish red. As I approached, I realized with budding excitement that I had found a population of incredibly tiny orchids. They were Lepanthes repestris, a lithophytic microorchid only found in the Liquio Mountains of Puerto Rico. The flowers, only a few millimeters in size, rested directly on top of the tiny one-inch leaves. I recall jumping up and down, as I am prone to do when I discover cool plants and critters in their natural habitats. From that moment, I was hooked on all things tiny. In addition to my formal research duties, I spent the next few months hunting down and studying all the tiny orchids and ferns I could find. In my subsequent travels to the deep Amazon and Ecuadorian rainforests, as well as sky-high volcanoes, my eyes always sought out the tiniest botanical inhabitants. Several years after that first encounter, I started building vivariums and keeping species of poison dart frogs and other herbs. These small but intense living environments require specific plant species that are both small enough for the enclosure and appropriate for the animals. Once you start building vivariums for tiny animals, you inevitably take a deep dive into tiny plants. As a professional horticulturist and lifelong plant collector and gardener, I've grown just about everything in every type of setting a dorm room, college apartment or rental house, community garden plot, large residential landscape, my closet, the garage, terrariums, grow tents, you name it. Often, the gateway drug to the gardening hobby is an introduction to houseplants. I worked at a garden center through college, so my rental house was stuffed to the gills with every plant I could get my hands on. This was before social media. Luckily, my roommates were tolerant of my plant obsession and didn't complain too much about not being able to see out of the windows. My varied gardening and plant obsessions have also waxed and waned over the years. I've spent some years fully immersed in my vegetable garden and beehives, while others were spent figuring out how to cram every species of blooming bulb or peach-colored English rose into my ornamental gardens. Yet, I always circle back to my love of houseplants, and collecting tiny specimens has brought me a lifetime of joy. I hope they can do the same for you.